Hey guys, Mike Loves Nature here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a easy mealworm farm and an intermediate mealworm farm. So everything you're going to need for the more simple project is some kind of sturdy wire, some tin snips to cut it, silicone, and some tape, some screening, two of the same size containers, something you can cut the plastic with. Definitely going to need some oats. Also going to need a knife and some food scraps. They like potato and these are just some of the uh, broken uh, leaves in my garden. You're also going to need a cup of mealworms. So let's start with the basic mealworm farm. This was my first mealworm farm. The first one I ever made is not that efficient, but it does do the job and it does work. So in essence, the way the simple worm farm works is you have your oats and your beetles on the top. They will mate and lay their eggs and you can sift it through the screen that you attach and that will get the eggs to fall down. Also some of the eggs over time will just hatch and fall down on their own. And they fall down into the second layer where they will hatch and they won't get eaten by their parents. How I keep the top layer above the second layer is two pieces of coat hanger that I just bent to shape and I hook them on to the sides. One of the downsides I found to having just those two braces as you can tell is everything over time pulls into the middle. So I want to upgrade this a little bit so that everything stays a little bit more spread out. So for now I'm going to take all my beetles and my um, worms and whatever else is up in this top layer and I'm going to separate them into uh, different containers. So I've separated everybody into three different cups. This one is the pupa, so the ones that are turning into beetles. This one here is all the worms that were on the top layer. And this one here is all the beetles that were in the top layer too. I've given them a piece of lettuce, wet uh, broccoli leaf to tide them over till tomorrow. Ivory says hi. She had a blueberry breakfast, so she's feeling energetic. So she's shedding again. So she's trying to rub them off. So as you can see here, I ripped the uh, top layer apart. And uh, the silicone stuck around the edge there will not be able to be removed from the screen, so I'm gonna cut myself a new one. Reason for that being is silicone doesn't stick to silicone very well. So as you can see, I've got my screen laid out here with the uh, old screen as a template. You don't have to worry about being exact with this, actually being a little bit bigger is almost better because you can wrap it up around the side. What you want to do is you want to lay one piece of screen out. Use your container to sit over top of it. Now I'm going to use my tape and my scissors to tape the screen around. So I've taped around the edges. Uh, this does not have to look beautiful as it will come off tomorrow. More or less this is going to hold everything in place, but you can see I've taped like an inch or so into the screen. This will give me a place to silicone so when I go to pick this thing up later it's not stuck to whatever I siliconed it to. Now I'm going to silicone around where the screen meets the plastic. As you can see, I put it on pretty thick. Now I'm going to use my latex hand glove to smooth everything out. So I use my finger to smooth everything out into the screen and onto the plastic. The main goal here is to make sure that the edge is not accessible to the bugs. You really want to cover the edge or they'll burrow through it and eventually get through. 
since this is my already completed farm and the bottom does not need maintenance and it has lots of little babies in it I'm not going to work with it but this here is a coat hanger that I just bent around the shape of this container now I'm going to cut some of this rod here to uh, support it a little extra So what I did there was add a couple more braces. This will prevent everything from pooling in the middle. Tomorrow when that uh, other top part of this is done, I can add my oats to it and throw the beetles in. And then this farm is done. Stay tuned for tomorrow when I move everybody in and do part two on this where I also turn this bigger three-tier stand into a slightly more efficient system. <laughs>